Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 3. So last time, we defeated the boss of Castle Hine, and honestly, it was pretty ridiculous. This time, our goal is actually to go back to the bottom, to the bottom right, and go back to our ship. Because we need our ship to actually go to the top, and sail. So, if we encounter any battles, I guess I'll just cut them, or I, I could include them in because they're really quick now. But yeah, this ship of course. This one. So... Now that we saved the people from Castle Argus, if we go back to Castle Argus, we are going to find out that... Oh, what the hell, an encounter. We're going to find out that there's some people in there. And they are going to happily reward us. Oh yeah, by the way, I switched um, Ark back to the Thief. Because I don't need it anymore. The Scholar, I should say. Uh, let's get a Thunder. I mean, I'm pretty sure a Thunder will one-shot these guys, right? It should. And actually, an attack will too, okay. Thunder, let me see. It's gonna do like 800 damage, I'm guessing. Um, yep, 868. See, I'm good at calculating. Pretty decent. Alright. Experience, it's not too useful, but hey, it adds up in the long run, as you already know. So over here, wait a minute, where's the castle? It's, uh, oh, left. Yeah, so we have some stuff to do. Gotta come here to... What the... Um, a, a lone fish. Okay, you know what? I would cut these, but I mean, they're really quick. They really are. You know, just guard and guard here, and we should be good. I'll, I'll one-shot this guy. Let me see. Yep. 745. Definitely enough. So he's dead. And I am moving on now. Let's go. On to Castle Argus. So here in Castle Argus, there's only one person we have to talk to. But what you will see is that there's actually people here. Look at that. The people are here. The castle is no longer empty. And by the way... If you have not gotten the, the chest that require like lockpicking, if you don't have a thief, you might as well do it now, because I'm pretty sure you have you have a magic key from... Um, you got one. Yeah, you got one. Thank you, young ones. Your brave actions have brought peace to our kingdom once again. Here, take this with you. What is it? It is the Argus family heirloom, the Wheel of Time, a box created by the powerful ancients. Bring it to Sid in Kanan. I see. This must be what Sid needs to build another airship. We'll be able to go to the surface world. So you have already met Sid, then you know what you must do. Go forth, warriors of the light. Okay, King Argus gives you the Wheel of Time. A vital item for getting another airship, I'm guessing. Alright, let's go. That's all we have to come here for. That's actually it. And again, you could open the two doors that were locked if you didn't have a thief. You could do it right now. Simply go and yeah. Use the magic key. You can also add a Gishal, which is on the right side. Um, it's hard to point it out from here. I guess I'll just show it. Probably at the end of this video, maybe, if I can. The thing is, I don't know how long these things are going to take. Yeah, the enemies are so weak in here. I mean, it makes sense. They're giving like 60 experience now because I'm pretty much over-leveled. Okay, so I think we have to go this way, actually. South and then east, maybe. Get yeah, this one. I believe this is Kanan. Let me take a look. Yes, it is. Okay, so we have to find Sid, who lives in the top left somewhere here. Nope, not this. What am I doing? It's, uh... Okay, that's, it's not that. This one. This is his house. Yes, it is. Talk to you. Hey, Sid. The Wheel of Time. So you met King Argus. All right, then. It's time to get to work. I'll turn your Enterprise into a brand new airship. Sweet. We could use this really badly. It's done. Tap on the Enterprise to turn it into an airship. Okay. Remember though, that you can only land in water. It was a sea ship to begin with. Yeah, that's the one downside about this ship, but it's fine. Now you can finally get away from the floating continent and back to our own world. Our own world? What do you mean? I guess it's time you, you need the truth. You four and I are not from this world, this floating continent. A story, I see. Ten years ago, I was flying my airship filled with passengers. It seemed to be a day like any other until, suddenly, the airship was engulfed in an impenetrable darkness. Next thing I knew, my airship was in pieces. We had crashed, and things were aflame everywhere I looked.
the only survivors aside from myself were you four. Oh, really? Damn. Oh, yeah, the four little kids actually survived, alright. You probably don't remember, you were only kitties then. So all, like, all the adults died and stuff, but the four kids magically survived. I don't know what happened to our world after the darkness came, but you, you must go and find out. You've been chosen as the Warriors of the Light. I know you'll make it. Oh, man. So, that's the cutscene. We basically got some backstory, finally. You know, we got some explanations as to where the hell we came from and all that stuff, so pretty good. Our next thing to do is, well, I mean, we're pretty much done here, actually, so we gotta go get out. Get out of Kanan, and we have to get out of this world. This ship has been upgraded, as you already know. Here's how you do it. Simply press the A button, or if you're using the touchscreen, tap the ship, and it turns into a flying ship. Land by simply tapping the B. Downside is you can only land in water, so if you try to land in, you know, like, let's say, grass over here, you can't do it. So anyways, um... We can actually exit uh, pretty much any way. I'm gonna, yeah, just go that way then. We could all, we could also go to Gishal, but I don't know if, I mean, I could, I could show it off. Yeah, the town is down here. This one. This is a completely optional town, and I guess I'll just show it then. What, what, what am I doing landing? I just said you can't land and land. And I'm doing it over here, like, wow. Go in there, freaking. Okay, this town is. Gisal, or Gisal, not Gisal, what the hell, Gisal. It, there's really not a lot to do here. I mean, well, there's this person, okay. I took care of the sheep here. Interesting. No, don't go that way. Come on, come back here. Hmm. Whoever said herding sheep was easy, they might as well be lemmings. Alright, so, yeah, this is, again, the town of Gisal. I believe it's called Gisal, it should be called Gisal. And there's not a lot to do here, there really isn't, but... I'll just show you. This is the magic shop. What does this have actually? This has, let's see, I have that equipped, equipped. I don't have this, that's a level four. That's also a level four. Kind of expensive though, but I could buy them. That's a level four white magic. Hmm, should I buy these? I feel like I should. Let's just do it. Let's get some magic in it, prepare ourselves. There we go, I already have mini and toad though, don't need that. I'm not going to sell items in this episode because it might take too long, so I don't want to waste time here. But that's that. And what is next? Uh, up here? This one? You know what, let's go ahead and equip that magic first. Before I forget. Learn... Um, yeah, Libra, of course. You can learn Confuse, and you can learn Silence. Okay, and now Angus. Angus needs to learn... Inflicts paralysis, I see. Break, and you need to learn Shade. Okay, very nice. So, um, that's the aim, but I don't need it because I'm pretty much full in health and stuff. New message from Topapa, the children are in trouble. The children have not come back from their recent exploration trip. We have searched as far as, as far from Ur and as, wait, oh my god. We have searched as far from Ur as we ca as we dared. I still keep messing up, are you kidding me? But could not find them. From Topapa. Well then. New building here. This is the Revival Spring. Don't need that. And what else is there to do here? Another building there. And there's a... What the heck is this? Another building here. Let's enter it. And this contains a shop which sells magic keys. This is the place where you can get magic keys. If you need more to unlock some doors, this is your place. Get some magic keys. I'm gonna get... Should I get some? I mean, I'll have a thief for quite a long time, but still, I'll, I'll just buy four. Just to be safe, you know? Anyways, there's a secret over here. If you go this way and then back like this, there's actually a secret chest right here. Dude! No, not you. I'm trying to... Wait, where is it? Oh, so... What the hell? Oh, there it is. Shuriken. Shurikens in here are probably the best... Yeah, actually, they are the best thrown item in the game. If you have a ninja... They can actually do that, and the thing is, you can't really use a ninja at, at this moment. So, it's not going to be until a very long time that we actually use these things, but it's still going to be fairly useful. So let me see, where the hell are the, um, wait, 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 what? Hold on, um, I thought there was, I guess there isn't? I thought you could somehow go in that water, but apparently you can't, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the hell, wait, I can't get out of here? Oh my god. Go out this way then. 
I'm pretty much all done here because there was the magic store, there was the end, and yeah, that was it. Let's go. And fly. Alright, so I showed you guess all, that's where you can get the magic key. Magic keys, I should say. And then let's go back now, this way. This is going to take us to a cutscene. Oh man, what is going on here? What is going on? What what is this cloud? It's it's draining my strength away. Hold on. Our answer is lying on the surface. We must reach it. Oh man. We gotta make it. We have to make it. I hope they reach the surface alright. Warriors of the light. You lads are our last hope. Well then, let's see what happens now. Not really sure here. We're through. Okay, apparently they made it through. That's actually really good. So, what happens now? Are we there? Are we like in the, in the ground or something? Is this the surface? It's so sprawling. Okay, we are here. We are here in the real part of the world. So, for any of you that have played Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy games, and you were to see that map of the floating continent, you would probably ask yourself, why is this world so small? The reason why? That floating continent is not the entire world. There's a new map here. The floating continent is only a part of the entire world. That means we're not finished. Welcome to the real world of Final Fantasy III. Although at the moment, it's engulfed in water, like foggy water or something. But you'll see. You will eventually see that it's a rather nice looking world. Now the thing is, there, pretty much everything is closed here. Look at this. We have the floating continent in the bottom left corner. And then we have three different islands. And that's all that's available at the moment. We have this piece of land over here somewhere. Should be right here somewhere. Let me see. Where is it? Dude. Did I already go through past it? No, I haven't. Okay. I wasn't sure. Somewhere over here. This. There's a piece of land right here, but unfortunately there's really nothing we can do in this one. But if we go up, up north, here, there is one area we can go, and that's this temple. And then there's a cave here. Problem is, you don't really want to go there at the moment. You'll see why. You're pretty much going to get stuck. Let's just say that. The place where you want to go is actually the very top left corner over the... Well, not, not really top left corner, but top left compared to this place. Simply go up north like this and you're going to get taken to a place that has a ship and all that stuff and you'll actually see. You'll see. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, people. Alright, sorry. I'm just taking a look at all this stuff. Well, I already went past it. What the heck am I doing? Wait a minute. There's actually another island there. I didn't even look at that. This place. There's a teeny tiny island here. Oh, damn. It's not really an island, it's- oh man, that's the crystal I did not know that! You can actually see the crystal tower from here. The crystal tower is the final dungeon in the game, by the way. It's the final dungeon. And it's a very long and difficult dungeon, but yeah, we'll get there eventually. This place is the key. Let's go ahead and land. Let's land and let's go into the ship. No, it's not our own ship, you dumb thing. Let's go here. This takes us to the wrecked ship. So here in the wrecked ship, there's going to be a few new things, but uh, let me take a look. Um, I'm just taking, I'm just taking a quick look at this. Okay, there's three floors, and once we go down three floors, which I believe are, is through here. Yes, one floor, and then going down another floor. Actually, two floors. Sorry, it contains two chests, a blood sword, and Zeus's wrath. Now, about the Blood Sword. Unlike in Final Fantasy II, the Blood Sword in this game is not crazy overpowered, okay? It's still a powerful sword, but it will eventually get replaced by better swords. So for now, obviously equip it. But it is by no means overpowered, it does not drain a percentage of the enemy's health, not, nothing like that. And, cutscene time. Oh, oh no, Miss Arya. What the hell? If nothing is done, our own time will cease as well. Hey Gramps, calm down. Just what's going on? The land. Darkness has covered the land, and darkness has stopped our time. 
Miss Arya tried to stop it, but oh, Miss Arya. Oh man, she's sick. Oh, me. Oh my. Miss Arya, Miss Arya, wake up. She's very weak. We have to help her. Gotta give her something. I wonder if we have anything in our bag that can fix her up. Maybe we do. So what we have to do is actually give her an antidote. Um, I'm trying to talk to you. Give you an antidote. And you're better. Who, who are you? Where am I? The light. I see a powerful light within you. Could that be? I'm Luneth. The crystals guided us to this world. So you are the warriors of the light. The crystals have chosen their champions. We are saved. If that were only true. Time is still motionless outside of these walls. Oh, what the... So the world has to come into darkness. We have to save it. Bring me to the Temple of Water. Maybe if we bring the crystal shard there to the sealed crystal. Please. You must bring me to the Temple of Water. Okay. Arya has joined the party. Okay. Well then, um... Now that we got this, we are pretty much set. Oh, hello there, dude. Anything else? Okay. So Miss Arya here is going to join us, of course. Let me go ahead and see what... Wait, whoops. Wrong button. That's what she says. The light of the crystal within you has freed me from this frozen time. If the water crystal regains its former power, we may be able to banish the darkness from this land and restore the flow of time. You're the first person to see the power of the other crystal I mean of the crystals, so it's really inside us. I guess it is. Freaking garbage truck in the background, you probably hear that very loud sound. So, fun fact about this. Arya is actually the character that you see in the opening cutscene, aside from the four characters, you know, the, the four party characters. You see a cutscene in which she's like putting her hands together, kind of like praying? That's Arya. It's her. It's this girl here. She's like looking at the crystal tower, I think, or something. I don't know. Oh, no, wait. Um, never mind. She's not. Uh, she's looking at the wrecked ship. And this is the wrecked ship you actually see in the opening cutscene. So it's interesting that they actually implemented that, the ship and Arya, into the cutscene. So, anyways, let's go back into our ship. Time to, of course, fly up. And now that we have Arya. Our next goal is to go to the very bottom right corner. And... Wait a minute, where the hell is it? Okay, down now. Just go down. And we gotta hurry up here. Freaking... Oh, what, what am I... I'm crashing on these mountains and stuff, seriously? No, not here. What am I doing? What about here? Does this work? Yes, it does. Um, I do believe I have to go to the... Let me see. Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. Dumb. So dumb. Okay. Let's go this way. We have to go to this temple here. Even though this temple looks like a dungeon or something, it's actually not. Believe it or not. Hey, that... Uh, that doesn't rhyme. It's the same freaking word. Not, not. But anyways, simply go to the top. And this takes us to a cutscene. Thank the heavens. There's still light within this shard. Okay. Obtain Crystal Shard. Interesting. What now? What do we do now? So our next stop is the Sealed Water Crystal. Screenshot this and it becomes one of the pictures from the App Store that they actually used to market the game. This exact image. Of course, when my classes are different, but I'm just saying it's, uh, you know. Yes, it must be imbued with the Shard's light. Miss Arya, where did the Shard come from? Before the world was doomed, when we saw the darkness expanding. We priestesses sealed the crystal to protect it from the darkness in the hopes that one day the warriors of the light would come. This shard was created to break the crystal seal. Come, we must go to the Cave of Tides to the north. And that's going to be for next time though. So before we go there, there's one little quick thing that I wanted to take care of and that's actually, where the hell is it? Freak, wait, not here, whoops. Over here. If we go to the right side, instead of going all the way down, if we go to the right side, over here, we get taken to a spring that, no, oh, sorry, two. This one heals us, and this one revives us, but we have no members needing re revival, so it's fine. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this LP. Uh, L Why did I just say LP? I mean, 
The thing is, I had the term LP in my head, and I was going to say that's it for this video of this LP or something, but I don't know why it came out like that. Anyways, next time, we're going to head right above that temple to the Cave of Tides. It's not a very long dungeon, but it's, uh... The boss can be fairly formidable if you don't know how to do it properly, but yeah. Oh, that sounds wrong. You know what I meant. So yeah, next time, we're going to take care of the Cave of Tides. Thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.